Okay, Saggies, welcome in. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, Sagittarius. I'm using the North Node instead of Venus this time because we are going to be talking about the eclipse, and that is moon energy, and North Node is a node of the moon. So it is tracking you on your mission and purpose in this life. It's very important to keep um, sort of your attention on that uh, because that's what you're here to do. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit. There we go. It's pretty rainy outside. So anyway, let's see where we're going for Saggies. What wants to come in for you, my darlings? Um, feel free to swap around the energies. Just take whatever resonates with you and leave behind what doesn't. Um, these are general readings. So there can be a specific message in here for you or the overall story. So just keep that in mind, okay? All right, let's see where we go. I am a Saggy Sun, full disclosure for all of you uh, who watch this channel or are new to the channel. Some of you have been watching the channel for a long time, know damn well I'm a Saggy Sun. <laughs> so, ew. Anyway, Divine Masculine showing up. Talk about that in a second. Wow. Shadow. Woo, Stormy. What is going on here? One more, please. Release. Wow. Okay. So some of you are connecting with a divine masculine now. I feel like I'm talking to um, possibly, possibly some divine feminine Sagittarius. This could also be about the internal masculine that you have and we all have. And um, it looks to me like there's going to be some shadow aspects showing up for you pretty soon. And I feel like we have this, um, most, mostly what I'm asking the purpose of this reading is to determine how the e eclipse season may impact you. I am seeing some kind of release here. I want to do one more thing. Let me just get one more. Okay. Veiled. Some of you are dealing with a divine masculine who is not telling you what's going on with them. Um, some of you are not are lying to yourself or not telling, lying is a really strong word here, but not telling yourself. Um, some of you are going to be working through some kind of shadow aspect of yourself and you might be um, hiding it from other people or acting like this shadow aspect of you is somehow, it's like the monster inside you. So there could be jealousy, there can be, you know, anything that you feel ashamed of, Sag, uh, can be worked through at this time. Others of you, this Divine Masculine is showing up on your path right now to uh, trigger some kind of aspect of you that really needs healing before we can move forward, before we can get into this next level of your journey, or before you can have what you desire in this life. Uh, you may have to work through this, whatever this is. So let's let's dive in, okay? In the extended, I'm going to talk more about the astrology of the eclipse that's coming up. Eclipse in Libra, full moon eclipse in Libra, and a new moon eclipse in um, Aries. So Libra, Aries, Axis are the, the signs we're working with. And you may or may not have a lot of Libra or... Aries in your chart, but right now we have a lot going on as we move into uh, Aries season. We have a lot going on in Aries and you are a fire sign. So you are connected to them um, through a um, through a trine, which is a very lovely energy. All the fire signs are connected by trines. All the water signs are connected by trines. And trining is a very uh, peaceful, loving energy, kind of different from what I'm seeing here. Now you could be dealing with a divine masculine who is going through some things right now. Okay. And, um, I feel like they haven't told you that they have, or are not, maybe they're not telling you a lot about what's happening and, um, that's causing some distress. I don't feel like they're lying to you. Remember when I said the word lied and I'm like, that seems really strong <laughs> for me to say they're lying. I just think they're not saying. I just think they're not saying. And I, I, I almost feel like that is um, maybe distressing to you that it feels like a lie of omission, which is kind of what it is. But I just feel like that word lie might be a little bit strong. It's like they're working through it. Uh, they're working through their own things. And 
it's not that you're on a need to know basis, but I do feel a little bit like this masculine um, believes they have to go through it alone. Okay. I don't really think that's true, but okay. So Taurus underneath the seven of pentacles, the lover's card, the judgment card. Wow. And the three of wands here, we're bringing in the strength card and the sun. I love this. There is a lot of, and then there's, then there's the Aries card here of emperor. There's a lot of it, of, um, evidence to me that fire signs are dealing with, cause I have Leo and Aries here too, right? Uh, fire signs are very much dealing with a masculine in their lives who, don't take the initiative, doesn't take the initiative enough, isn't, um, uh, you know, they might have too much, too much. They may have an overemphasized divine feminine where they're in that, you know, sort of um, receiving posture. And I do feel like something is triggered here that makes that, that shifts that in a big way. The darkness was bothering me. Of course it is. And <laughs> we are talking about shadow and stormy and all of these things. And I do feel like your uh, job here is really not to do, not to do anything. I almost feel like it's the masculine's job to do, to deal with their stuff. And you may have a shadow aspect of codependency that's like, oh, I just want to help them through it or, you know, and that's fine. But I, you know, I, I feel like if it is a shadow aspect of you, if codependency is something that you've struggled with, it is not for you to kind of step in and nurture them in a way that is going to be um, sort of taking uh, the responsibility for whatever's going on off of them uh, to do they don't have to do it on their own, but they do have a responsibility in their own energy to step into it and to share what's going on with them, uh, depending on where you are in a relationship. Now, they may not have a responsibility to share it if if this is to do with another relationship they're in. You know, you may be connected with them in the spiritual uh, in the spiritual realm, the quantum field, and you're not seeing this yet. Okay, but if you um, if you are if you're experiencing this. What's going on is a long-held relationship um, is at a choice point, the lover's card and the judgment card. So they're making some kind of choice right now that is going to take some courage. And I'm just getting this very strong sense that the fire signs, okay, um, you know, I've already done Aries. I'm going to be doing Leo today. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing Leo today. And it does feel a little bit like, your job is to not rush in or something. It's to, you know, this is the strength card here. And I love this. This is the golden tarot and see how she's, you know, sort of just allowing whatever's going to come is going to come. And there's the masculine riding up behind her. So this is the pose we're talking about for you, divine feminine uh, Sagittarius. Like it's not, it's not, not reaching out, not doing it. Just, just, Focus on your own self, focus on your own life, focus on what you're building, focus on, I feel like some of you are building something and you have an important mission and this going on here is showing up for a reason. It's not for nothing that this showed up, okay? Um, fool, first card out is the fool, the seven of wands, the three of cups, some of you are resisting third party, um, not wanting to have that um, this relationship be a third party. I do feel like some of you are saying like, you know, in the past, that might have been something that we dabbled with, especially if you've known this divine masculine for a long time. But I do feel like because you're building and working and healing yourself and doing all these amazing things to build your foundation, it's like, don't throw it all away. <laughs> don't throw it all away uh, because you're being tested now on that kind of healing. So it's easy to be in the place of, oh, I don't do third parties. That's cheating. I don't deal with that at all. Um, but when this divine masculine comes back in the room, do you just throw that away because it's this person, right? This person makes that different. And it's sort of like, actually, no. I don't want, I'm, that's not who I am now. 
is coming through. That's not who I am now. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands, the Justice card, and the Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I do feel like you're both learning something incredibly powerful in this connection. And both of you are learning to stand up for yourselves in different arenas. So your masculine can be standing up for themselves in a situation. I'm sh quite sure that they um, would love your company, although this might be, uh, they might feel friend zoned by you to say that this is not about that. I'm not, I want a real relationship with you. I want something that is going to be, um, you know, uh, positive for both of us. I don't want something that's hidden or veiled or um, it's almost like we're ashamed of it. And I'm not ashamed of, of being in love with you. That's, I know I am. So I'm not ashamed of that. And I don't want that kind of energy to be part of us. Like that's not who we are. So this Knight of Swords energy, I don't feel like they're super happy with that answer, but I also feel like on balance, they understand it. They understand it. And this is a person, talk to me about this divine masculine for a minute. Eight of Cups. Magician. Six of Swords. The two walk, they're walking away from another situation. They definitely are. King of Cups. And they're stepping into their own feelings about their connection with you. It's almost like they see you as someone who's magical, right? Someone who's been able if you are working on yourself and doing your healing and you have shifted your life or you're in the process of shifting your life into something that you've made choices around, very dynamic, very positive energy, high vibe energy, do not drop your energy in order to sort of um, bring this masculine to you. Their job is to elevate their energy, to step into being the emperor. That's what their job is right now. And I believe they do. This King of Cups is um, a fully integrated masculine feminine in the guise or in the presentation of masculine. So you can be divine feminine and present as a man, just saying. Um, this is interesting. And a lot of times how we see that, you can see that in the chart, the, the birth chart of a man who has a lot of water and a lot of pentacles, earth and water, uh, earth, yeah, earth and water signs um, have that ability to um, hold the divine feminine in a certain way. They may struggle with the divine masculine part of themselves. Um, and not to say that every single water sign or every single earth sign is like that. It's a different kind of nurturance when it comes through a divine masculine, right? A feminine nurturance and a masculine nurturance have different qualities to them. If you have a lot of air and fire, you could have more masculine approaches to things, but you could still present as very feminine, okay? I'm just saying, like, people are complex. Um, this Three of Cups is making me feel like there's a celebration ahead for doing that, for standing up and saying, you know, I want you completely. I don't want to share you. Three of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Eight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. You guys have something to do. It's really important that you start off in a way, you know, you start the way you want to go on. And it's important to have this conversation. I do feel like the Ace of Wands and the Justice is about balance. The Knight of Swords here makes me feel like let's not rush into anything. Okay, this Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. You're here to build something together. You're here to build something together. This is the wish. This is the desire. This is the hope. This is the, um, the fondest wish. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. I just feel Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands is the masculine energy about rushing in. I feel like they will rush toward you. They will either rush toward you to speak this truth, like this is what I want. This is, you know, I'm, you know, they're a little bit, um, 
not practiced at rushing in. Okay, fools rush in. They're a little bit not practiced at that. This person could be very slow on, um, maybe slow on the uptake of like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. They may not really know what their um, purpose is for negotiating this with you, the beginning of this new relationship. They may not know how to do that. They may have always started relationships in the past with sex and you're kind of like, you know what? Um, that's not where I am. Um, I want this to be built on a solid foundation. I want us to build on a solid foundation, even if it's friendship for a while, even if it's business or building something together as our work project. And it's like, it doesn't diminish the desire at all. Okay. And I think that that's worth saying. Um, it doesn't diminish the desire for what I want, but what I do want is for it to last 10 of pentacles. I do want this to last. And I don't want this to be a flash in the pan. I've learned long enough, maybe with other people or with this particular masculine, I've learned long enough that if I am not balanced in my energy, if I am not speaking my truth, this is the justice card, Libra, we have the, um, the first eclipse is in Libra. So this is about negotiating um, the future of what I want with you. And I do think there's a lot of back and forth on this. I think there's a lot of conversation about this, but there is a soul contract that needs to be built between the two of you. There is a soul contract to be built here. So I'm going to continue this reading. This seems like a good place to do that. I will look at what are you blocking? What don't you see coming? I'll go more into um, messages to you about this situation uh, from spirit and also from this masculine. And I will talk a little bit about the astrology of the eclipse so you can understand what how it might be impacting you other than this massive story <laughs> about being balanced in your truth and um, standing up for what you want to create in your life. Okay. Link is below Saggies. If you want to continue on, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.